Hello and welcome to your daily love message from your person. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in the Love Oracle deck today to see what's going on. So let's find out how the feeling, why and any struggles or obstacles they are going through or overcoming to be with you. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So thank you, angels. What are they dealing with today? What do they want you to know from their heart space? What are they struggling with? What's on their mind? So two cards jumped out there. I still feel there's more. Yeah, that one jumped over on this one. I still feel there's more. There we go. Yeah, okay. So I feel I need to share that one first. Look at this one. It jumped over the camera. I can't handle your love. What that means is they are not used to a love like you're giving them. They've never felt this way before. They can't handle your love because it's so intense. It's so powerful. I can't handle this. I don't know what to do. I've never felt this way before. I don't know how to act in this situation. So I act stupid and indifferent and naive and crazy. I can't handle your love. I don't know what to do with it. I've never been given love in this way before. This is an unconditional love. Other people want something from me. You don't. I don't know how to handle it. I don't know how to give back to you the way I want to give back to you. I don't know if I can handle this love. So this is why they struggle. This is why they pull away. This is why they become distant. This is why they leave you on read. This is why they ghost you, ignore you, block you, and act like they don't care. In spiritual truth, they care so much, they don't know what to do about it. And they are obsessed with you. I'm obsessed with you. Now, you may not even realize that, but they are. They're obsessed with you because they feel they can't handle this love. It's very overwhelming. So if they are acting different, if they are acting indifferent, or if they are with a karmic partner, they are watching you from behind closed doors. They just may be obsessed with your social media, checking you out online, trying to find out what you're doing. They may be driving past your house if you live close by. If you are on the other side of the world, they could well be typing your name in Google. They're definitely receiving signs and synchronicities about you. So they're being reminded of you everywhere they go. And that also makes them obsessed with you. And what they're giving me in there as well is they're giving me the BS. So whatever BS they give to you, it's because they are stressed. And that's what I'm seeing in these cards or in this word, should I say. You know, if you're thinking, oh, it's all BS, he doesn't care about me, he's treated me badly, he didn't know how to handle this love, it's all stress-related. Everything comes from love or fear. Love creates the beautiful feelings, the solutions, the magic, the joy, the bliss. Fear comes from ego and it creates negatives and drama and struggle and stress. And take away any words as well, words that people may give to you like narcissistic or words like gaslighting. Everything is either through love or fear. Your person is either operating through love or operating through fear. And when they are stressed out, they're operating through fear. When they are obsessing over you, they're operating through fear too because they're in fear of losing you or they're in fear of not being able to handle this love or what to do. When they are operating in love, they want to be with you. They feel you in every way. So they are saying to you, understand that if you think this is BS, that I'm obsessed with you, it's because of the way I'm acting and because I'm stressed out. I know I can't move on from you, even though I've tried. Why can't I move on from you? Because I'm obsessed with you. Why can't I move on from you? Because I have deep feelings for you. Because I can't handle this love. I've never felt this way before, but I can't move on. So they've tried to move on, just like you may have done. You may have thought, oh, I've tried to cut the cords with this person, or I've tried to be with someone else, or I've tried to forget them. But you can't move on from your own soul. You can definitely move on from the struggle and you can definitely move on from the drama because you have the power of prayer. You can pray for assistance with that to let go of all the struggle and all the drama and all the chaos. But you can't move on from the person. You can't move on from the feeling because you can't move on from your own soul. So if you're thinking, oh, he's forgotten about me or she doesn't love me or if you're in fear in that way, just know that they are obsessed with you. 
Anything they are doing that isn't coming across that way is all through stress and fear because they don't know how to handle the love. I can't handle your love. I don't know what to do with it. But what they do know is they can't move on from you. And they're asking themselves, why, why? And this is also making them question their connection. It's allowing them to see things in a higher way. It's bringing in that spiritual awakening. Why can't I move on from you? So then they may start Googling things, Googling love, not being able to move on. And they are finding out an understanding about what this connection is. And also they are scared of rejection. This is another reason why they can't handle the love because they're afraid of you rejecting that. Even if you were giving them nothing but love and being gentle to them and showing them affection, they are still scared that one day you're going to turn around and reject them. And that's another reason why they push you away. It's called self-sabotage. They try and sabotage it first so that they hurt themselves first so that you haven't got the option of hurting them. Some of them are so scared of rejection, they won't even let you in at all. So it's their own fears, it's nothing you've done wrong, this is why they've run. They've run because of their scars. What I'm seeing in there is, I am scarred. I am scarred, so I am scared. I am scarred because of things I've gone through in the past, through previous lovers, through previous relationships or childhood issues. I'm scared because of past lives that are still ingrained in me. Things I've come here to overcome. So they are scared because they are scarred. And they run because of that. They see red. Okay, I'm really seeing the, the messages within the messages here. So they see red because that's fear. That's anger. That's frustration. They run away. They project out of them what's going on inside. So if they are seeming to reject you, it's not about you. It's about them. They are feeling rejected by their own soul. They've got to love themselves. So never take it personally. Remember, rejection is also redirection. It's a redirection to something else, to something new, to handling things differently. So they are scared of rejection and they know they can't move on from you. So even though they are afraid and they are running and doing all these strange things, they know they can't move on from you. So what they can do sometimes is go into drugs and alcohol. Now, I'm not saying all of them are doing this, but a lot of them will be taking drugs or drinking too much alcohol or distracting themselves in some way to try and numb the pain or to try and work out how to handle this love or because they've pushed you away, this is how they deal with it. Now, because this card's come up, I'm going to bring in my deck the distraction oracle. So I'm going to bring this in as well because I really feel that they are wanting you to know today that they are dealing with these things. And I feel this is also things they are releasing. Okay. Why can't I move on from you? Why can't I move on from this drug? Why can't I move on from alcohol? Why do I feel obsessed with these things? So these are also things that they are releasing from their life. So I feel this is a big, huge sign here about releasing certain addictions. Because they can't handle them anymore. They don't want them anymore. They want to reject them out of their life. They, they're scared of that. They're scared of how their life will be if they haven't got that vice there or that drug or that alcohol. A coping mechanism. So this is also something they are releasing. So I feel that that will resonate with someone watching. But let's see what they may be doing to distract themselves. So let's have a look with this deck here. So thank you angels. What's going on with them today? First one come out is vaping. Now, this is really interesting because that's the only card that wants to come out. When then this card's moving on top, so I'm going to take that as well. But vaping is something that we do to stop from smoking. So we think about smoking cigarettes. Maybe you've smoked in the past, maybe you haven't. I'm an ex-smoker, but I never went down the route of vaping. But I did work in a vape shop, so I know how they work. So when there's a vape... The smoker tries to replace the habit of smoking with something else. But it never satisfies them because there's always an upgrade. And what that means is there's always a new machine or there's always a new liquid or there's always something new to try. They're trying to replace the real thing with a habit that never satisfies them because there's always something else. Now, what this means is connected with your connection, you are the real thing. 
And it doesn't matter where they go, what they do, who they surround themselves with, they'll never feel satisfied because there's always something else or someone else. And all they really need is you. Okay, so they try and replace you with other things or habits or addictions. And the only one they truly want, the only one who can truly satisfy them is you. And that's why they rebel. They need attention. They want attention. They have a need for attention. This is why they take drugs and alcohol. It's their way of getting attention and saying, I need help. It's their way of dealing with things. So they need attention right now. And this is what they're saying to you. They're saying, I am obsessed with you and I'm afraid of being rejected by you. I'm scared of rejection because I need attention too. I crave attention too. I miss you. So they are turning to drugs and alcohol because in that moment they feel like they are being satisfied by something when they can't handle your love, when they're not able to take your love in, when they're not able to be with you that way. But they know they can't move on from you because they love you. And that's really what they want you to know. So I feel that there's a double message here. They want you to know that they are working out how to handle this love. And they can't move on from you. And they're working that out right now. It's all coming from stress. So they're getting a handle on their stress to be able to come forward in a better energy. And some of them who are addicted to things like alcohol, drugs or distractions, they are wanting to release those things. And they are working on them. Some of them could even be in therapy for this. They could be in recovery for this. But they are wanting to move on from anything toxic to be free of those things, to be able to give freely to you. Because when they are free of those things that hold them back and push them down, they're able to handle the love better and show you how they feel. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.